I'm Ross Benjamin reporting for the Offshore Gaming Association. That's OSGA.com, your number one source for information on the offshore sportsbook industry. That's OSGA.com. I have three Major League Baseball totals picks on Thursday, June 13th. Let's get right to them. I'm going to give you my analysis on why I like each one of these picks. Let's start with the AL East Showdown between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Baltimore Orioles, 7.05 p.m. Eastern Time from Camden Yards in Baltimore. These are unequivocally the two worst teams in the AL East. And when the season ends, um, I would say that it's fairly certain they'll be at the bottom of the standings in the AL East uh, when you consider the other three teams in the division, the Boston Red Sox, Tampa Bay Rays, and the New York Yankees. Let's get right to this one. The current total on this game is nine. Since 2013, these teams have met 43 times, and only 13 of those games have gone over the total. So, again, only 30.2% of those 43 matchups between these two teams since 2017 have gone over the total, the others resulting in an under or a push. Yesterday, Toronto uh, was an 8-6 winner at Camden Yards. That game easily sailed over the total of 10.5. However, the Blue Jays have gone 5-0 and under the total in their last five games uh, following an over in their previous game. The Baltimore Orioles, on the other hand, have seen 11 of their last 14 games go under the total, and that includes uh, yesterday's over. So uh, they've been on quite an under run and neither one of these teams obviously have been hitting of late. Uh, Baltimore and Toronto both under 700 OPS over their last seven games. The Baltimore bullpen, which has been much maligned, has been very good uh, over their last seven games with a 2.73 ERA and an 0.95 whip as a staff. The Orioles starter today will be Gabriel Noah, and uh, he's only started three games this year. Each one of those games went under the total, and he posted a stellar 127 whip in those outings. On the other hand, Marcus Stroman gets the start for the Toronto Blue Jays since 2017. Stroman's made five starts against Baltimore, and he posted a uh, microscopic 0.96 ERA in those five starts. Only one of, not, actually none of those games went over the total. There was four unders and one push, and the Toronto bullpen on the road has been very good this year. A 316 ERA, and they've also converted on 9 of 10 save opportunities. This one has all the makings of a low scoring game, and we're going to take the Toronto Baltimore game under 9. Next game on the card, a AL Central battle. Detroit travels to Kansas City to take on the Royals. The current total in this game, 8.5. The opening pitch is slated for 8.05 p.m. Eastern Time. Neither one of these teams have been offensively productive of late. As a matter of fact, Kansas City's averaging a mere 2.6 runs scored per game in their last seven outings, while Detroit, over that identical uh, time frame, has averaged only 2.9 runs per game. Kansas City has gone under the total in each of their last four games and also has gone over just three of their last 15. The Royals this year, when there's been a total of eight or eight and a half, has seen 15 of 21 games go under the total. And they've also gone under the total in 17 of 24 games when facing a team with a losing record. And uh, Detroit certainly qualifies in that regard. Tonight's starter for the Detroit Tigers is slated to be Matt Boyd. He's been outstanding this year in 14 starts, a 308 ERA, a 104 whip, and he's turned into one of the better power pitchers in the American League. Uh, that probably a lot of you are, don't realize this. Uh, Boyd has struck out 105 hitters in 84 and two thirds innings pitched. That's outstanding. Homer Bailey has struggled for the better part of the year. However, he's made one start against Detroit this year and one last year. And in those two starts, he has a combined 257 ERA and an 093 whip while averaging seven innings pitched per start. And the Kansas City bullpen, similar to Baltimore's that I just uh, alluded to before, 
Um, they've been much maligned as well this year. However, they've shown drastic improvement over the last seven games. Uh, and that's indicated by a staff ERA of 338. I like this game to go under the total. We're going to take Detroit, Kansas City under eight and a half. Last game, the San Diego Padres and the Colorado Rockies from Coors Field in Denver. Uh, the opening pitch is slated for 8.40 p.m. Eastern Time. The total in this game is 11 and a half. Neither one of these teams have been hitting of late. All you have to look is at their team OPS over each of the last seven games. During that time, San Diego is a poor 617, while Colorado isn't much better at 662. The Padres have lost four straight games, and when they lose three or more games in a row this season, they've gone 7 and 0 under the total. Matt Strom will make the start for San Diego, and Strom in six road starts have seen just one of those games go over the total, and his 273 ERA has a lot to do with those low-scoring affairs. On the other hand, John Gray gets the start for the Colorado Rockies, and Gray has really mastered the art of pitching at hitter-friendly Coors Field. In five home starts this year, each one of those games have gone under the total, and Jay, or Gray, excuse me, his outstanding 3-0-0 ERA in those five starts certainly was a big contributing factor. Gray has also gone 14-4 and under the total at home, in 18 starts the last two seasons when there's a total of 10 or greater, which obviously there is tonight. Uh, San Diego has is averaging a robust 1.44 home runs per game this season. Uh, this is from a club that really uh, had virtually no power in recent years, but this year has been another story. However, since 2018, John Gray, 7-0 under the total at home when facing the team that averages 1.25 home runs or more per game. That's uh, pretty, pretty impressive when you consider the home runs that have been flying out of Coors Field since it opened. The Colorado bullpen has been very good over the last seven games, 238 ERA and 084 whip during that time. I also like this game to go under the total. We're going to take the San Diego Padres, Colorado Rockies under 11 and a half. Repeating again. The Toronto Blue Jays and Baltimore Orioles under 9. The Detroit Tigers and Kansas City Royals under 8.5. The San Diego Padres and Colorado Rockies under 11.5. Those are my three MLB totals picks for Thursday, June 13th. Be sure to visit my website, rbwins.com. Folks, my highest rated plays, they're my 10-star top plays. I've gone 27-9 in all sports with those plays. That's 75% over my last 36 picks. And since April 21st of last year, my Major League Baseball selections are 132 and 101. That's 57% and at an average money line price of minus 108. That's rbwins.com where you pay a little to make a lot. Until the next time, good luck with all your picks.